Yo everyone, so welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review and showing you some lip swatches of the new Nicki Minaj uh, lipsticks that she did for MAC. And it's been, I don't know how long since I bought anything from MAC, but I don't know what it was. I like Nicki Minaj, I like her makeup. Her makeup is very clean, very simple. Like she doesn't actually wear anything on her lower lash line, like at all. And that is a tip for people who, um, Maybe you want to make their makeup look a little bit more youthful. It's all down to what you apply on your lower lash line. So let's say if you wear black, uh, coal like I do, and I've got like uh, eyeshadow on my lower lash line, if I remove it, all of a sudden it will take like five, ten years off of you. So she, that is one of her classic looks, and she always either has a pinky nude lipstick or very nude quite pale lipstick she doesn't really go for very bright I mean once upon a time she did do a collection with MAC which was the Pink Friday collection if you guys remember years ago I did a video of that I was so much more younger I was in my 20s then but anyway so let me just show you what the packaging looks like so it's just slightly different to the normal black packaging and then it's just the colors to kind of reflect what is in there and I do believe that she's got an actual entire collection, but a lot of the lipsticks are permanent ones, and then the rest of the collection is coming out next year in 2018. So they are the standard bullets like MAC normally has, and again, the packaging is to reflect the box. So the two shades are Nikki's Nude and the Pink Print. Now I know a lot of people are concerned with whether or not it will suit them. In my opinion, it will suit all skin tones, but only if you use it with a lip liner. Now I know you're probably thinking, why do I have to buy something extra to use it? I agree, I completely agree, but you do have to remember this is her collection. These are her colors, which she has chosen. So it's obviously down to personal preference whether or not you want to use them. Now, Nicki Minaj is a couple of shades darker than me. She's got a very caramel toned skin. And um, if she's able to wear these, then why can't I? And why can't you as well? Now, I do have to admit when I have worn them, I've worn them both with a lip liner. And that's the only way that I have felt comfortable in that it doesn't make me look ill. Um, if you wear very, very pale colors, it can make your natural skin color look darker. It can make you look like you've got a bit of concealer mouth as well so I have paired them both with lip liners and that's how I'm actually going to show them to you in this video as well so first off um, they are both in amplified cream finish which is actually my favorite MAC finish it means that it's very thick quite glossy easy to apply it's not matte it doesn't drag it lasts all day long and the reason it's called amplified as well is that I find when you apply it to your lips because it's got that very creamy kind of texture it amplifies your lips it makes them look more juicy more plump and the wear time of these is excellent as well I only had to reapply them once in the entire working day because I wore them to work so I put it on at like eight o'clock in the morning and I only had to reapply it probably after lunch because I'd been eating it is a normal lipstick at the end of the day it's not a liquid lipstick so it will come off so this first one is called Nikki's nude and it's described as a soft corally pink which Yes and no, I kind of agree with the shade description. I mean, just to look at it like this, I don't really see coral in it. So I'm not sure why it's a soft corally pink. I definitely say it's maybe a corally pinky nude because it is called Nikki's Nude at the end of the day. And then this one is called the Pink Print and it's described as a mid-tone creamy pink. I would personally say it's a kind of a nudie pink. And you know what it really reminds me of? It's like a mix between cream cup and blankety. That's how it appears when I apply it on my lips. Now I'm just gonna show you how it looks on my hands before I show it on my face. Please excuse the glitter on my hands. I have glitter on my eyes and it was on my hands and you know how glitter is. So here is both of them on my hand. But bear in mind my hand is not the same as the color on my lips now i did buy them on the day they were released on the 1st of september they have sold out online but i do believe that you can get them still in store so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to remove this lipstick i'm wearing huda beauty's which one is it cheerleader so i love huda beauty's lipsticks so i'm going to remove that and then i am going to apply these to my lips but i'm going to use a lip liner to apply it to my lips because on its own, you will be able to see what it looks like on its own, but you'll understand why I'm using a lip liner because I need to show you guys how you can make this kind of lipstick wearable for you. Okay, so I have removed my lipstick. I've got a little bit of lip balm on because I personally prefer to wear lip balm with lipsticks 
just so that it makes uh, lip liners easier to uh, glide on. The MAC ones are kind of tough. They're not the, quite the same as Huda Beauty's lip contours, which are very soft and creamy. Um, anyway, so the one that I'm using is called Oak. And this is a very kind of uh, taupey, brown sort of shade. So it's very cool toned. And I'm going to be wearing this with the pink print. So this is how it wears with oak, but personally, I don't know about you guys, I normally have to kind of go back in a little bit and darken it a bit more. And what happens is you end up having to wipe off your lip liner a little bit because it can get congealed with lipstick. Right, so that's it. What do you guys think? I actually personally really like this shade. I wore this uh, to work with a very nude kind of eye, very simple makeup and just wore this on its face. I will insert the photo of me wearing it somewhere here so you can see it in natural light rather than in artificial light is what I'm sitting in right now. But personally, I really like it. Now, just because I'm using uh, oak with it, that doesn't necessarily mean you have to. I've also got the shade cork, which is a darker brown. You can also, because it's a pinky shade, you can use magenta. You can use any, really any kind of lip liner you want to. Obviously, orange will make it look a bit weird or completely change the colour. But it's just to make it a little bit more wearable. But it's creamy. It feels comfortable and it wears lovely and I personally am a big fan of this. So I'm going to wipe this one off now and then I'm going to show you Nikki's Nude. God, I've forgotten how easy it is to apply normal lipsticks compared to liquid lipsticks. It took one tissue to remove that one and it took three to remove the Huda one. Alright, so anyway, so I'm going to show you now. This is Cork Lip Liner and I'm going to use this with uh, Nikki's Nude. Now, as this is obviously a much darker lip liner, just smush your lips together to blend out that harsh line so you don't have that really 70s, 80s look of, not even 70s, 80s, 90s. I remember girls in school wearing really dark lip liner with clear lip balm and it would just look like a line around your lips, no. So I've blended it a bit, so now most of my lips are covered. And remember when you are wearing a dark lip liner, it will go all over your lipstick. So maintain that colour just by wiping it off a little bit. And that's it instantly. It's become wearable. Even on its own, it's up to you. I mean, I am just showing you how I have been wearing it since I bought it. But I'm really happy with this. I love how it looks. A really nice everyday kind of nude feels comfortable, feels creamy and I love it. So I'm just going to quickly remove this one now and go back to my Huda one because I actually need to go out. <laughs> this don't go with my outfit. Well it does, I'm wearing gold and a red skirt but it doesn't go with my outfit today. That's better. Just quickly I also bought another MAC lipstick. This is the MAC Viva Glam Taraji P Henson uh, lipstick. She's done a, coll a collection with MAC before and I think it didn't go down too well. From what I remember, they sent me the wrong highlighter and then they weren't able to... Something happened or something happened. Anyway, so they've done another collection with her and I really like Taraji P. Henson. For those of you who don't know, she's um, the lead character in Empire. She was in Karate Kid. She was Will Smith's kid's uh, mum. And she's been in loads of them. She's an amazing actress. And it comes in a pink package like this. It's a matte lipstick. Very pretty hot pink colour. Will go well with all skin tones. Such a pretty colour. So I just thought I'd throw that in there. What is with this colour? Like, it just doesn't want to stay down. Why? Stubborn. And what else? Oh, I cut my hair today, people. I cut off two inches because it was all dead hair. It feels so much better. 
so that's it really i hope you guys are great i hope you enjoyed the video like comment subscribe uh, let me know if you've bought any of these or if you are planning to if you can get your hands on it and i will see you all in the next video bye